If you're new to my channel, this may be something that you don't really know about me because I don't really talk about it much. The reason for that is that I really don't want people to feel like I'm playing the sympathy card because I really don't want sympathy. You know, this is the life that was dealt to me. This is what I have to deal with. And I just try to go about my life as normal as I possibly can. There's only one week a month that I actually have to deal with this to go to the hospital and deal with seeing doctors and things like that. So I, I try not to worry about it. I try to just live my life and not think about it as much as I can. And that's one reason I don't really bring it to this channel. What I have is called aggressive fibromatosis. Uh, it's also known as a desmoid tumor. Mine sets underneath my scapula, uh, so it's right behind my heart and next to my spine. It does have the chest wall between the tumor and my heart. About four years ago, I went through 30 rounds of radiation treatment that uh, from that point has shrank the tumor. Once the tumor stopped shrinking, it uh, has stabilized. But once a year, I have to go in, I have to get a checkup to see what's going on with it, to see if it has had any growth in the last year. They take measurements, things like that. For me, one of the worst parts about having a desmoid tumor is the pain. I'm in pain all the time. There is never a time that I'm not in pain. Uh, my pain will get better and worse but I'm always in pain uh, there's always a pain in my shoulder uh, occasionally if I do too much work or if I work too hard uh, the pain will start to radiate out from there uh, I'll feel it all the way in behind my ear and down my back if you're interested in finding out more information about a desmoid tumor and reading a little bit of uh, information about it I'll put a uh, link down below that will take you to the DTRF, Desmoid Tumor Research Foundation. There's a lot of information on there where you can learn more about desmoid tumors. I just made it out of the MRI. Uh, it ended up taking right at about 45 minutes to get it done. Unfortunately, I do have to wait to get results and to see the doctor. And that's where this turns into very stressful time is just thinking about that and what's going on. And you know, your brain starts thinking the worst. So it's very stressful waiting to Friday to find out the results but this is pretty much the end of Wednesday, so I'm gonna go ahead and this will transition into Friday. So today is going to be talking to the cancer doctor and he'll go over all my MRIs and we will talk about them and where things are going. Hopefully we'll get good news. Um, I guess if there is bad news, then we would start the process of coming up with a new plan of what direction we would go. Uh, unfortunately, with this disease, there is no cure, and what will work for one person may not work for another person. I have to admit, today I'm feeling a little nervous. I've been in a lot of pain lately, and it's got me thinking that maybe there's something going on because I've been in a little more pain than normal. Uh, so I'm having a little anxiety about today and meeting with the doctor and getting an answer to find out what's going on.
just made it out of the hospital, got to see the doctor. Uh, this was actually the quickest trip we've ever had in and out of there. Uh, got some absolutely the best news we could ever get. Uh, the tumor has not grown at all. It's actually shrank over the last year and they are seeing no living cells inside the tumor. It's just more or less just a hunk of scar tissue at this point. To deal with the pain, they're gonna send me to a physical therapist uh, where I'll get like some physical therapy, I guess, and then he also ordered that I get massage therapy. Uh, they wanna see if that could help with some of the pain. So I'm gonna be going to that two times a week for the next four weeks. So these checkups is something that I've had to deal with for the last four years. Uh, doing them any from every six months to now I'm doing them once a year. I'll continue to do it once a year even though they're not seeing any of this growth uh, because there's always that chance that it could start growing again. So we will continue to do this. I know I wasn't able to film everything but I kind of wanted to take y'all along and let you see what my I guess week would have been like of having to deal with this and having to go through this and to show you that this is something that not only me but other cancer patients have to deal with having to go in and have these checkups to check uh, they're very stressful you you end up having to worry about all this stuff and what's going to happen and what the outcome is going to be of the test but uh, I had the absolute positive that you can have. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little peek into my life and what I have to deal with. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, if anything else comes up and I can kind of show it and talk about it, I definitely will. Uh, so guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I will answer it the best I can. This is so hard. Because I'm in here. Huh? It's so we hard. It's so hard to talk to the camera with someone else in here. I have a wall up. I'm not used to uh, doing that. You're not bothering me any. I'm I know. It's funny. bothering me. It's bothering me. It's it's not you. It's me. <laughs> is this a breakup? <laughs> I'm breaking up with you.